Johan, first of all, how are you? How's your injury? I'm good. I'm good. It's, uh, it's a lot better. It's been a lot of speculation about my injury, but um, no, it's very good. And uh, I trained today as well, so I feel a lot confident and um, I should be okay for, for the weekend, hopefully. So you'll be okay for Wolves, in your opinion? Yeah, for my opinion, yeah, hopefully. Were you a bit nervous when you got that bang on your knee? It's an area where you've had injuries in the past. Yeah, I was, I was nervous, but I knew that it wasn't going to be anything bad or anything serious. But it was just a, more of a precaution because I couldn't really like run anymore because it was just so stiff. But um, I mean, I wasn't that worried. Because injuries have happened to you too often. We all know that. Yeah. So is there concern in your mind? It's, it's all going well. You're playing really well. The team's playing well. And then an injury is going to happen to you. Yeah, it was a bit because, you know, I think that the, the, the game was, we were playing well as well, winning 4-0 and stuff, so you just want to keep going and finish the job. Unfortunately, I took the decision to come out because it was a bit too slow and the physio were happy as well. But um, no, it wasn't like I was thinking oh, it's going to be the end of the world. Or No, I knew that I was going to be back on my feet quickly. We come to the Newcastle game in a minute. What a story that was. But let's talk about your partnership with Lauren Koscielny. You seem to complement each other really well. Yeah, I think that we got a great understanding. It's true that um, I had a chance to partner like um, all of the others as well, but it's true that uh, at the moment with Laurent, things are working well. You know, we, we, we speak a lot together, and it's true that uh, the thing is that we have a good relationship as well outside football. You know, we, we are good friends, so I think that helps as well. You say you communicate a lot. What do you communicate about, and which bits do you think he's better at, and which bits are you better at? Do you organise it that way or not? I think no. I think that we have, we have our own quality, of course, but I think that we, as you said, I think we, as a unit together, we are we we are we are really a force, and I think that uh, we've got both good ability on the ball. You know, we we quick, we can play a high line, we can go with the ball forward. You know, he's good in the head as well. I'm good in the head, in the air. So I think that it's just about just timing on the game because it's just communication but it's not only us two it's all the team and the back four especially because you need to have a good communication but i think that it's true that we've been working that well together during january you played a lot of games together now i don't think Arsene Wenger planned that but there were injuries at the center half position has that actually helped you because it forced you to gel together you played a number of games in quick succession you really become that unit yeah it did and for me as well it, it was fantastic because of being out for for that for that long time, it was just great to to be to have the chance to see how my body will react after all those games. So and I think uh, I did quite well. And uh, as well for a partnership, it's nice to have like a, a good strong partnership that you know that you you who, who you playing with. So I think that uh, that was good in January to see that uh, we could play together and to have good results as well. And that's proved something to you. You were saying because the boss has even said in the past perhaps he would use you sparingly over a, a long run of games. Exactly. You couldn't do that, yeah. but you proved you, that you can play that now. Yeah, exactly. So that's, that's the thing that I wanted to do as well, is that just to show that the injury is in the past now, and I'm looking forward. And I think that uh, exactly I showed that during the time of January, because we had so many games, and I came out all of them, so it was good. Are you surprised at the way it's turned out for you this year? Because you've been here for a number of years. But injury and opportunities yeah. meant it hasn't quite happened for you. And at the start of the season, you were very much one of the four centre-halves that yeah. we had. Yeah. And now you're seen as absolutely essential. I think that, um, you know, I worked very hard because I knew that things could turn around and football is always like that. You know, sometimes you, you get injury, but um, I, know I, had, I know I had the potential. The club kept me here, so I think that they knew as well. But it was just keep on believing in myself and that's the, the, the strongest thing they had to do because it wasn't easy at the beginning, you know, I was left out because the manager was thinking, yeah, he's not ready and I want to wait for him and calling cup games and stuff. But then after injury proved that, um, you know, he can, he can go each way. Like last time I was injured, someone else came in and this time someone else got injured and I came in. So I think that is good. I had a chance to step up and show everyone that I'm ready for it. And recently you racked up 100 games for the club in the Ipswich game, the Carney Cup semi-final. As someone who's been here since they were 15 years old, that, that's a, a little box ticked, a little milestone, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It is, because I think that it could have been done before, but unfortunately injury stopped me. But uh, I think, yeah, it's a, it's a big achievement, you know, when you come here and uh, at the age so young, at 15, and you, you play 100 games for the first team, is a, is, a, is a big thing. Do you know when you last lost a Premier League game for Arsenal? Uh, I don't really know. Because I do. <laughs> you haven't lost in your last 26 Premier League games. And that actually stretches back to November 2008, Man City away 
That's the longest in the Premier League. That's an incredible run of games. Oh, yeah. What do you make of that? That's impressive. <laughs> I'm quite impressed. <laughs> oh, it's impressive. I didn't know, but it's true that um, I have some people that told me that your stats this season are quite amazing, but um, I don't really look at that because it's you more looking as a team. You know, when you're playing as a team, but it's true that uh, I had a chance of being... I haven't, I haven't lost this season in the league and hopefully I can keep that luck in the, in the team so we can keep going because uh, it could be good if we can go and beat it until the end of the season. So, <laughs> no, it's just, a, it's just a great thing and I hope it will, uh, will keep going. And there's one other stat, of course, which you put right at Newcastle. You now have a one in the goals scored with Yevhen It's taken, what, 101, 102 games, but you got there. Finally, we can I stop asking finally. you the question, how exactly. good did that feel? Amazing. That was great. That was a great feeling. And, uh, and I had some stick from the, from the boss. Not bad stick, but, you know, he was, he was waiting for, for me to score. He said, yeah, you have the opportunity because you're good in the air and uh, you're tall, you, you jumped the highest as well. So just before the game, he reminded me again and um, it happened. So um, it, was, it, was, no, it was really good because a lot of people were asking for the goal and it finally came. Because there was that chance at West Ham where you went through, showed all your skill and it was a decent Yeah, exactly. Save. Yeah. Frankly, the Newcastle goal was about half as good as that, but it went in. <laughs> <laughs> it went in, so that's good. You know, at the end, it came in. But it's true that uh, I have some opportunity, and I think that I will have some more, so hopefully I can become more of, of a girlfriend now. Now, Newcastle. Um, what happened at Newcastle? Because things changed in the second half. Arsenal cruising, playing so well. Two things se seem to change things. You going off and Abu Dhabi being sent off. Is it as simple as that? Yeah, but I think that is is hard to say because it's true that um, we had that, but I think I put it more into the playing against eleven against ten. But even we had we had ten game ten men before in the games, so I think that um, it's a, it was a strange game. I, it's hard to explain to be honest because I was watching the game afterwards, and um, you know twenty two twenty two minutes before the end it was still four 0 So it's like you're thinking maybe they were on a high and we we become a bit scared of them because we've seen that they were coming back at us but even from that I think that uh, we should have put the game to bed but I think we haven't been helped as well with some decision though to be honest. That's the thing how how much anger was there afterwards and obviously there must have been a lot but there must be some directed at yourself because you were part of the problem clearly as, as a team because yeah, you let four goals in. Of course. But some key decisions didn't go your way so it's, it's difficult to know how to feel isn't it? I think when you're when you're a pro and um, I think you look at yourself first, you know you don't you don't want to look at the referees' performance and stuff. I think it's most important to look at us because tomorrow we can have some big decision as well. The referee is going to do his job, so we have to look at us to be better tomorrow. So I think that uh, that's the most important thing we have to do, and I think we did that well because we know that we have to respond. We have another big game on Saturday that you know I think that the title race is still very open, so we need to we need to go for it. Well, that's the other thing. It's, it's just difficult now to know how to feel after Newcastle because Arsenal lost, but they gained a point on Manchester United. They lost their first game and exactly. showed weaknesses themselves. Chelsea also lost. OK, yeah. Man City won, but there were some major gains that whole weekend. Yeah, I think exactly. I think in the misery we had a bit of, of joy as well because it's true that if we would have won, if we would have won the game, it would be two points clear. But we, I mean, things they lost, so... Now it's four points and they have tough fixtures to come. And I think we have tough fixtures as well, but I think they're more easier than them. So um, I think we can really, I think at the end of this month, we could see a little bit where the things are standing. And just letting in the four goals, that must hurt you in a sense because the, the defence has been so good recently. And, if, and before that game, if you looked at the top four, Arsenal's defence was pretty much the same in terms of goals conceded as anyone else. Yeah, it's true. That's true that uh, we had a good record. I think uh, in the last five games we only had the, ge the goal against um, uh, Everton and that was offside as well. So I think if you look at the record, it's, it's pretty good. But it's true that we're going to look at this game again and see that we, we could avoid some goals. But, um, you know, football goes so quickly and I think that... Um, we're not going to say it's a defence, it's a team game, you know, everyone, everyone is involved when we concede and when we score, it's everyone. So I think that uh, we just need to, to keep going, believing in ourselves, and I think that um, things should be OK. Obviously, you conceded the four goals against Newcastle. There's also Tottenham, which you didn't play in, but you conceded three goals in the second half yeah. there. I suppose there's a, a concern that these things occasionally happen to Arsenal, and it's happened twice and it's cost 
yeah. six, sorry, yeah. five yeah. important points. Yeah, no, that's true. That's true, and I think that's a thing that shouldn't happen. When you 2-0 up at the break or 4-0 up at the break, you, you must thinking that the, the second half should be, should be done. But maybe that's the fact as well. You know, when you think that it's done, you maybe go a bit, you know, you go a gear below a little bit. And that's not a good thing. I think you should start again and think it's a new game and just start it all over again. But um, I think that, you know, the guys, what is good is that we know what happened and uh, we don't want to happen again. It happened twice now. And uh, I think that we know that the f it shouldn't be happening a third time. And of course, Wolves at the weekend, they beat Man U last weekend. They've also beaten Man City and Chelsea, both at Molyneux. This time it's at Emirates Stadium, but last year they were the toughest nut to crack, and it was a late, late goal that, that did it for us. So you can only see it being as hard again. Yeah, of course. They're a tough team. We play there, and uh, I mean, we won 2 0, but uh, they give you a good game. You know, it's like a very tough, game, tough team, really straightforward. You know, they play long balls, they try to hit Kevin Doyle, who's a very good player as well. I think that uh, no, they're going to come and give us a game. You know, I think there's the, the, the type of team that really go for it. And, but I think that with our skills and all the. Um, the player and the attribute that we have, we should, we should be able to win that game, of course.